Hello and welcome to the first video on this series on getting started with Rust. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up Rust on our machine. I'll be demonstrating this on my Linux machine, but the installation process is quite similar for other supported platforms as well. With that said, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is head over to our browser and go to the official Rustlang page. Then we'll click on get started. For installation, we'll be using a tool called RustUp, which is a Rust installer and version management tool. From this page, we'll copy this command and paste it in our terminal. On running this, you'll be presented with an installation menu as shown here. We'll go ahead and select the default option. Following that, RustUp will install a bunch of different tools, one of them being Cargo, which is the package manager for Rust. Then there is Clippy, which is the lint tool. Then there is documentation component. Then there is the Rust standard library. Then the compiler Rust C itself. And Rust FMT, which is the code formatting tool for Rust. So once our installation is complete, we'll need to put this folder in our path environment variable. To do that, we can either run source cargo env or you can just log out and log back in to your terminal. Now that I have source the directory, we can then run rust up show to show the current toolchain installed. And then we can also run cargo, which is the package manager. So to kick things off, we'll go ahead and create a new cargo project by running cargo new hello rust. And let's cd into the folder. And let's see the folder structure. So Cargo has initialized our project with a source directory containing a main.rs file. So let's take a look at the main.rs file. So the main.rs file has a main function with print line macro on it. We'll get to the details of it in the upcoming videos. We can then run this project directly by invoking Cargo run. As you can see, we have hello world being printed. So yeah, that was all about setting up a Rust on our machine. Hope you find this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.